Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, I'm the man on the sticks. Heck yeah. And we're playing uh, Breath. All right, so we actually have to go to, like, the glowing dot over there. By the way, I looked up, this is, like, uh, the rebel sign for uh, the, uh, the Star Wars. It's very, very close. Oh, okay. Very, very Oh, yeah, you did talk about that. It's very similar. I meant to show it to you before we started recording, but I neglected to do so, so uh, forget you. Oh, and yeah, because we went over it. here and we did a temple instead, right? Oh, yeah. In fact, I could just fast travel to this temple, but... I mean, uh, you're already halfway there. Yeah, dude, I'm already, I'm already walking it, Jonas. We're already walking it out. Walking, walking. Uh, walking. This will be Monday's episode, so I just want to say is that our condolences to Chadwick Bowles when we lost a superhero. Heck yeah. Oh, you see that, Jonas? Consistency. Yeah, we didn't even know the man was ill. Did not, but uh, wolves, Jonas. Baru. You already know what that means. They want the smoke. Nope, no, they, they ran. Don't. They definitely do not they want the smoke. They definitely don't want any smoke. That's unfortunate. I was ready to bring smoke, and they they ran from the smoke. Yeah. Moose. Oh, do you know you can ride bears in this? Yes. I am aware that you can ride bears. But you can't, like, take a bear. Uh, you can't, like, take a bear and, like, roll with it. But you can roll on a bear. So, yes. <laughs> You, I mean, like you can't stable a bear. Oh, gotcha. You can like you can mount one and ride it. You yeah. just can't like keep it as your own bear. Yeah, that one, uh, that one mission, Jonas, where I was like, oh, I have to ride a, uh, a one of the reindeer. I did that off cam, and it was you had to basically just tame a reindeer, and I, uh, I rode that around for. Oh a while. yeah, we talked about that on cam. What ended up happening from that? Anything? Uh, it opened up the thing. You just opened it up. I think it may still. I may have still have it uh, available, but I don't know. Flight range. Didn't we do this before? Because isn't this mm -hmm. like isn't this like a uh, the obstacle course that you get to fly through? No, this, this looks the, different. That was yeah. That was one thing we did where they wanted us to see how. F oh wait, the flight range where I had to like go through the uh, through the hoops and stuff. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, there's a bow. I don't want that. This is a swallow bow. It's a very common retail bow. Oh. Oh, this is a guy who like made fun of you. No, this is the guy who's going after his partner who is yeah. going to try to fight N uh, Deborah alone. Or uh. Meadow. That's Tiba. I don't know you. And I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. <laughs> wow. Man, is that how you feel? He's like, F you. And you're like, buddy. F you, buddy. <laughs> F you, buddy. That was it? It was just a cut scene time to so. say I'm busy and go away? I guess so, man. He just wanted to tell me that I don't know who you are, but... <laughs> uh, did you need something? I'm busy here. Uh, I can help you. Help me? With what exactly? With Von Meadow, fam. Let me get this straight. Some random Hylian wants to help me bring down a divine beast, Van Meadow. I'm not buying it. What's your name, stranger? I'm Link. Link, huh? Well, Link, I'm Teba, but you already knew that. I'm guessing the Elder asked you to come here and talk uh, some sense into me. Am I right? Eh, that's basically it. Just like the just like the Elder to trust a fool wandering into town. Oh, he's the guy this time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you seem like an all right guy, but it's all right to clear that I'm going anywhere. I don't know what he said there, actually. As a Rita warrior, yeah, I, can, I can't rest until my people are safe. Fair enough. There was one way I'm going back to Rito. There's only one way I'm going back to Rito Village, and that is once Divine Beast Meadow falls from the sky. I have so, like, Yeah. If you kill Meadow and he falls on the village, that's pretty tragic, right? Like... I guess we'll have to watch out for that, Jones. I know, right? <laughs> Seeing as though I have no, no uh, will of that happening whatsoever. I have to kill Meadow, so be it. Only then will I return to the village. And let's get started. Are you serious? <laughs> well, far be it from me to talk you off a ledge. Um, but it's as the elder said, the only way you can get to the Divine Beast Meadow is to get inside it. Oh, well, 
That shouldn't be a problem. Fat chance of that happening. There's no way we can set foot in Meadow, actually. So not only are you wingless, you're brainless, too. Hey, that's that hurts, fam. Let me fill you in. The only people able to enter Divine Beast are the five champions of old. Well, guess what? I just happen to be a champion. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like the rest of Hyrule hundreds of years ago. Dude, they died. Uh, this has been for Ganon. Never mind. Let's focus on bringing down metal one step at a time. Uh, if we approach metal recklessly, its cannons will blast us out of the sky. So I'm going to need you to test. I'm going to need to test you before I take you with me. Uh, we Rito used an updraft in this ravine to hone our archery skills. Oh, the updrafts are strong that have a person uh, strong here that a person could open up a cloth over them and float up easily. Now, let's see what you're capable of. All right. He wants me to destroy, destroy five, five targets, targets in three minutes. All right. <clears throat> I'm ready. Then destroy five targets with your arrows. Fair enough. That's it. It's like a mini. You got to do a mini game to get oh, game man. to respect you. Yeah, dude. I'm I'm pretty, I'm pretty green right now, too. I haven't done this. All right. So. You had to do this for another. Uh... Oh, you're going to have to actually probably. Uh... It does pause it for you. Yeah, like. Uh... Oh, look at this, dude. It. Oh my god. How far is that? Super far? It's very far. Now it's not. How could you not do this in in three minutes? Right? This is pretty it's pretty easy. You had to do this with your uh I gotta switch with your other uh another thing boat. too. Like what the other beast. What other beast? Oh, you the... You like, uh, thrown up in the air with water and shoot at stuff. Yeah, I remember that guy. Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, all right. All right, we're good. Oh, just any three? Looks like it. So let's just There's... get that one. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> it took you, like, a minute. <laughs> That's because there's, like, freaking wanted slowdown time mechanics. Like, that's it. Like, like, it's like, you have three minutes. Like... You're a skilled archer. <laughs> it was as if time stopped every time you let an arrow fly. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> I get to tell you, I got to tell you, Link, when you first showed up, I thought you, someone was pulling a prank on me. But after seeing you handle that bow, I can tell that you're the real deal. You must uh, have seen a battle or two. Hundreds. Hundreds of battles, dude. Nah, fam, I've seen a few. Don't be modest. I can tell just by looking at you. Wait, no, you uh, couldn't. Yeah, obviously not. <laughs> I feel I've had uh, the name some some. I've heard the name somewhere before. Well, if you really want to help me bring down Meadow, it's, it's right over there, dude. Let's go. I'll get in position so you can give its cannons all you got. All right, so I have to take the cannons out. Inside the treasure chest is a bow of modified. Take it and let me know when you're ready. All right. Oh, inside this treasure chest right here. It's a modified bow. Does it give me long sight? It's a Flacleon Attack bow. Up 12. Oh, let's use the bow he gave me. I said let's use the bow he gave me. All right, fam, let's go. I'm ready. Okay, it's time to face wow, Van that was fast. Yeah, I know, right? Normal arrows won't work. Uh, to put a dent in those cannons, you'll need to hit them with bomb arrows. These are precious commodities, so don't expect me to do this again. But here, take these bomb arrows. And he gives me 20 of them. And I have 160-something <laughs> bomb arrows. All right. Also, it will be cold up there. I'm all ready. So you'll have to prepare a warm meal or bring some warm clothes. Um. Wow. All right, let's... Uh... I kind of want to see if I can level this stuff up. before. Yeah, I let's do, do that. Let's... Let's go do some stuff, finish this up, then the next episode will be like getting through the battle and... All right. Uh, we got time. All right, so we aren't going to go right now. We're not going to go right now. I'm going to go level up this armor real quick, see what level I can get it to. So at least I'm not going in there with imputed armor. I got to find Kakarot. 
This is Kakarot right here. Yeah, I mean, before you go fight a boss, you always got to be prepared, you know? It's more along the lines of, I feel like I got, the, the food is fine. And this armor, I think if it, if it levels up to where I want it to be, it'll be fine too. I also don't have any, like, warm food to eat, so, or cold resist food to eat so i might want to make yeah yeah you probably yeah that's probably safe all right so we'll yeah then the battle will be on the next one it's fine well the battle like that last time took like a minute <laughs> well i don't think it's the actual battle I, well yeah i guess i do have to like fight the guy to get inside of him yeah because well we all know the temples take like three or four episodes so yeah they always want to make me fight something to get inside of it too man it's always a fight to get inside you know it's just yeah word to the wise it's never easy. I'm looking for that blue bunny, Jonas. You, you know it? Yeah, I know what you mean. There oh! it is. That's not him. That's a flower. Oh. He's not around, dude. He's not here today. A lot of blue bunny playing playing with your heart. Right? I agree. I also noticed that uh, that the fairies don't repopulate this area. So you can only have like five fairies and then they just stop repopulating. Oh. It's really weird. Foo! Welcome back, boy. Let me enhance your clothing with my breath and kisses. All right, so you can upgrade this stuff, and it only takes it takes red choo choo jellies. All right, and I got a ton of those. So let's. All right, so you'll at least be able to get them upgraded the first time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me do my thing. Oh, she's gonna blow my pants, Jonas. Beep a dop a doop a deep a dop a doop a deep a doop a dop. I don't know what that noise was. What was that? What was what was that from? Was that from something? I don't know. No? I think it sounds like it was something that they do in this game. What is that? <laughs> what is that noise? I recognize I don't, it. You tell me, man. You tell me. All right. We're going to level this up. Mm. You lost me. <laughs> That's Seinfeld. What is the... <laughs> that is that, that what was 100% is that Seinfeld. It's, what, I think that's the noise he makes when he's uh, adding a spot to your inventory. Oh, you're making the shakalaka noises. Yeah, it was a so. deep dive. Yeah, it's, I think it's so. fine. No, it's fine, Jonas. I like it when you make random noises over the over the airwaves. Let's do another one. Yeah, dude. What sound does it sound like when I uh, make a sandwich? Cool. <laughs> You're right, I suck at making sandwiches. You're not even wrong. You're not even wrong. <laughs> Let's see if you can upgrade them a second time. Well, I of course I can, but I don't know if I have enough fish. So it's gonna take me nine fish to do. And you only and you don't have enough choo choo jellies either. No. One short on choo choo jellies and one one so, short on fish. So I guess. So like now the, I have good pants, right? I think these pants are good. No, these pants are not as good as my strong pants. My strongest pants are very strong pants. Yeah, why don't you upgrade the cold pants? Because well, I the am going to upgrade the cold. And then pants. if you upgraded the cold uh, chest plate, yeah, that's then what you I got mean. the two main pieces. You can wear like something else on your head. Yeah, they don't have a lot of defense though. I was thinking that they might get comparable. It seems like my high defense stuff is the only high defense stuff I'm going to find. Yeah, because, probably like, because these these offer a cold resistance, so they're not, they won't be as strong. Yeah, but I want everything to have high defense. Now, what do I even need here? Oh, I don't even have these. A sun shroom. Those are relatively. Oh, you have easier. a ton of key swings. Damn. Yeah, fire keys, boys. All right, so we're gonna do the top, mm -hmm. and then we'll be done. Yeah. Here. So if you had, yeah. So if you had some. Uh, so yeah, you'll, those are all pretty common things, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I did. Did I make some fire resist? I don't know if I did. Did I make warm food? I may have. I think you made some potions for cold resistance. Okay, it's so just going to need to get. But your armor gives you enough cold resistance now. You don't really need the potions. All right. So what else can I do? Oh, I can't enhance that, but I want to hold on. To. Okay, fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Bye. Bye. <laughs> she says bye, and the caption says he. Yep. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, so I think let me check my meal setup here. Do we have flame resist food sort? So we do have. We got a couple. We got a couple things. 
12 minutes and 11 minutes. Yeah. And another one down the next row. Okay, so yeah. You have like 30 minutes of cold resist. All plus right. you have cold resist armor on. Yeah, and I'm honestly, I'm thinking the only time I might have to use that might be for like when I have to fight the boss and I might want to put on like uh, some... Uh, some actual armor to fight him. So I think we're good to go. At this oh, point. yeah, the boss of the temple, you mean. Yeah. So I think we're good to go, actually. So let's head back. We'll head back. Because I really don't think I need to, per se, do anything else. I've got the food necessary. We got tons of food. I got full health and hearts. I've got attack up. I've got defense. See, the fact that I've, I'm still basically eating off of, like, a month ago's, like, pre preparation is pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's, like, literally, this is, this is prep from, like, a month ago, and I'm still eating off of it. Yeah, yeah, because you haven't played, like, off-cam Zelda preparations in a while. No, man, you know, it's just like, man, I just want to play it all the time when it, when it first happened. Now I'm like, if I played, then, like, I've, I've, I've explored to my heart's content. Like, I was just getting exploration in. So, like, I've been here. I recognize some stuff. Right, right. Well, now really all there's... I mean, you found a bunch of temples for us to do. You found a bunch of... I mean, I really are, are... We're really streamlined now. You've done a lot of the explore aspect. Right. I think we're going to have enough time to get this in, though. Might all as right, well. Cool. Might as well. Let's, let's give it a shot. We'll give it one shot. If I don't do it, it's fine. All right, let's go. I'm ready. Let's get it. All right, uh, we are doing this. Why risk your own life to take down Meadow? To rescue uh, Zelda, to save Rito, I just can't watch just because. Uh, I can't just watch. You can't just sit and watch innocent people be terrorized. Right? Then imagine how I feel as, proud, as a proud Rito warrior. That's fair enough. Right. Get on. Oh, oh, heck yeah, Jonas. This is like me and you last night. You remember? <laughs> Callbacks. <laughs> I was flapping my wings. You were just jumping on my back. I was yeah, like, dude, we were soaring around Austin. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm a bird person. Yeah. Oh. Kinky birdamite. All right. It's showtime. Man, even I feel like I'm going to freeze up here. There's a Divine Beast Meadow. It has a cloaking device, Jonas. It has oh, you have to shoot all the, you have to shoot all the things at the ends too. That looks like it. Uh, it has a barrier up again. What a pain! What's wrong, Link? Too scared to talk. Let's go over the plan. Okay, this is important. All right, so you see that cannon? I see it. I'll draw their fire. While I'm doing that, use your bomb arrows to destroy the cam the cannon. Got it? Oh. Yeah. So it's all basic. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. Oh, wait. Thing. You need to withdraw if, for a bit. Spread your cloth. Float straight up. If you if you need to withdraw for a bit, just spread your cloth and float straight up in the updraft for a while. I'll take that as a sign that we need to regroup. Don't bother aiming for anything covered by his barrier. So it's the same it's as all the rest. You just shoot like the five points and then you get in the beast. And whatever you do, don't get close enough to touch it. And finally, I know I've said this a few times, but really, but don't forget your code protection. All right. Fair enough. All right. Uh, we can move whenever you're ready. Let's go. Let's just do it. All right. Let's do it. Now. Let's blow these Let's cannons. All right. So first off, bomb arrows. Yeah, exactly. So we gotta put. Uh, oh, you have mine anyway. Oh, cool. I have 140 some. Sweet. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Oh. oh my gosh. That hit. It did. Oh, it. Did. Oh, you have to hit more than once. You do. That hit. Yeah, that's good. That's it. All right, regroup. Oh, I guess you can just you can just float around him. Looks that way. He's shooting at me though. Oh, he's trying to distract and draw fire. Okay. He, he's doing a good job. All right, cool. All right, let's see. I think that might be close enough. 
Yep. Absolutely. I think that's it. Yep. Nice. Easy peasy lemon squeeze full. <laughs> Just floating over top of him <laughs> like a warrior, dude. Don't touch it. Whatever you do, do not touch the thing. That's what he told me, right? Yep, he said don't he did don't try to shoot it and don't touch it. Alright, chill out, brother. I don't need you. I got tons of stam, alright? This is one. Oh, you can hit that's that broad? <laughs> you can hit the base of it and it still works. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That yeah. one's done. Wow, I thought you had to hit like the actual cannon. No, man. Just hit that anywhere, dude. Oh my god, that makes a foul. Nintendo. Nintendo. It's just like, hey, hit this big giant thing. Yeah, if you get above it, you can just like shoot down, and then you're like. Nintendo. Yeah, we did it. Boom, dude. Give me in metal's guts. Meadow Soprano. Meadow Soprano. Bring your guts. Kaka. <laughs> Ow, my cannons. Ow, my cannons. <laughs> Fair. Well done, Link. Yeah, we did it. Thing is history. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's beautiful, dude. Yeah, look at that. Dude, I really want them to make another Shadow of Colossus, man. That game is so good. Uh, maybe they will one day. I would love to play that game with for PlayStation. Maybe next console. Mm. I have a uh, I have a, a converter. We can play it on PlayStation. I have a PS2. Do you have the game? No, not oh. for PS2. I mean, what is PS1? Uh, no. I mean, for like you can download it off of PS the PSN store. Oh, I have a PS3. We could play that too. I think I need to get back <laughs> to the flight range. What, you're done? I can make it back. You head down the meadow. Wait, you're done? I thought this was your fight. It's all you. No, no, Wait, no. Hold on, yo. <laughs> Jonas. Nope. He was like, uh He was like, oh, it's it's pretty cold up here actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go get some cocoa and a blanket. Yep. And uh you you know you it's, you go handle this. Yipper. Wow. Wow. What a jerk, dude. What a freaking jerk. All right, Jonas. Well, I guess that's on the next episode, man. Well, there might be something here, actually. Yeah. Let's, we'll finish this up. It's fine. Ooh. Authenticate my Sheikah slate, fam. The gate registered, or travel gate registered map. All right, boom. So now we can teleport here. Yay. Easy. Well, I've seen that face before. Who the hell is this? I had a feeling you would show up eventually. <gasps> oh! Wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. It's the humble guy. You're here to wrest control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? Uh, yeah, I guess. If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. Oh wow, this one looks interesting. Yeah, I like it. Alright, so the map is way over there. Right underneath that uh, proboscis. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? I'll try. All right, cool. And that is uh, that's on the next episode. All right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, if you've already done that, uh, this dude does switch things. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D I N O M I G H T underscore Crazy Town at Twitch.tv. All right, for Jonas, T -T. we'll catch you on the next one. We are out of... Missed.